welcome to Mox Seminar. So today we want to discuss about social networking in our young generation. So without wasting time, I want to invite my special guest. She's from Kota Kinabalu. So please welcome Miss Harida Jaikal. Good morning to our beloved students. So the title of my speech today is Social Networking in Our Young Generation. Social media has been ingrained into our society today such as extent that is virtually impossible for people to take to you seriously if you are not any social media platform. Everyone is on social media is young, old, rich, poor, AIDS. Everyone is always in a frenzy when it comes to socializing online. Even a corporate world has jumped into a bandwagon and companies are very active online posting updates and answering queries. There are many social networks to choose from some of the popular ones include Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, and Instagram. As a popularity of social media, keeps on spreading all over the world. There have been mixed feelings about these networks and how they impact the yacht. So, how does social media affect the yacht? To answer this question, we have to look at both at the positive and negative impact of social media on the yacht. Going with former first, social media has reduced the world to a global village. Yacht can interact with people from other parts of the earth by just a click of the button. Through this interaction, young people can share ideas, acquire information, and also be exposed to many opportunities out there. Secondly, social media give them the avenue and opportunity to make a new friend, also allows them to maintain their old friends. With social media, they can trace their former friends by simply typing their names or just indicating the school they attended. Then, the network will do all the dirty work and link them to all people they went to school with apart from just socializing and social networks have become frontiers of the corporate world and advertise their goods and service. They may either do it directly or pay celebrities to advertise their product for them. Therefore, social media offers an array of opportunities for your popular young people can be hired by corporation to be their brand ambassadors online. In addition, they can earn a considerable amount of money by running podcasts and vlogs. Social media is also an avenue that they can use to showcase their talents. Yet can also run business through social media. They may share whatever goods and service they offer to friends and in groups. And for a wider coverage, they may sponsor their posts of reach more people. It is also an avenue where people can express their honest opinions. People who are naturally shy may say whatever they wish in public forums without the fear of serious repercussions. It is also a cheaper means of communications. What is required is just internet when which and a few strokes and users can communicate with virtually anyone on earth. Social media has also made it possible for people to work from anywhere on earth. This is referred to as virtual terming. Truck hired in the same organization, some virtual work groups are offered from different parts of the earth. However, their communication is done online. On the flip side, the internet is an unregulated world that has no form of morals or laws to abide to. 
young people are exposed to go image of minor victims, accidents, rape, case, or even video photos of gun shootings, violence, verbal outbursts, nudism, and explicit sexual content. All these skins of gore content are in the domain young people and when consumed for a long time can lead to serious mental breakdowns. For instance, they will start having anxiety attacks and fear of the real world. Whatever they see is registered in their minds and they believe the world is a bad place but that is not entirely true. More than 19% of the earth is a safe haven with so many untapped opportunities. Next, it also leads uncontrollable obsession. People are obsessed with like and comments and they will do anything to get them on a daily basis. Everything they do, they post on forums to get some from uh, approval from strangers. Some people adopt fake personalities to show the world that they made it. They do things that they will never they do in real life to impress people. They work tirelessly to buy the latest outfits, eat expensive meals, and visit exotic places just for a show. Since they cannot get the same love in real life like they do in social media, they dedicate their lives fully to the social networks. Everything falls apart, however, when their popularity wins and they may get into serious psychological problems such as depression, the social platforms and also risks and dangerous and maybe frontiers of crime. So the first crime the that comes to mind we talk about social media is cyberbully. Most people in social media take both their personal and personal information. Then they are those who are actually themselves in social media. Most time then, not the fake ones bully and humiliate the real one. While many people may argue that is not that serious and young people are just having fun, the threat of the matter is that some people get a fake, especially when the insults revolve around their insecurities such as looks, religion, or social status. Furthermore, it is quite easy to trust anyone using the their social media information such as location, school attended and place of work. So if a criminal wanted to target at someone, the first place he will look for information is social media, social platforms also pose serious health hazard for users staring for long at the PC may lead to ear problems. Furthermore, every user maintain a life of inactivity and lack of movement, they are therefore likely to suffer from obesity and are exposed to obesity diseases such as heart disease, diabetes, high blood pressure, and stroke. Furthermore, they become socially inept. They cannot start conversation or interact with people. Okay, lastly, media social 
take away empty from its users. We see people getting into trouble, but instead of getting from the people present, their misfortune is recorded in the fourth age post on social media. The poster expects likes and comments while the other have a field day judging, mocking and making fun of the person record. They are instances where people announce the challenge they are going through. It may be sickness or loss of a love, one or a broken relationship. We see people posting their condolences or consolation message to make the poster feel good. The reality of the matter is that they do not feel any form of remorse. They just do it of natural conviction and forget about the incident as soon as they move to the next post as for the person suffering she does not feel any better in fact a person who is physical visit by few friends and love one feels much better than a person who get is a million message on social media with no actual visits in conclusion, as Albert Einstein once said, I fear the day that technology will surpass our human interaction. The world will have a generation of ideas. Social media is a great way to pass time and see whatever is happening around the world. It is very interesting and also very addictive. However, media social is eclipsed by so many challenge because it is unregulated. The creators of these networks did not anticipate that their creation would be centers of crime and social decay. Doing away with social media may not be practical or advantageous of society. However, some form of regulation should be put into a place to ensure that people responsible for all new and violent stuff of the interest are brought to book just this from me I hope we can learn something new and some moral of my topic today I will like to say thank you